everybody! Today is Lance's like last day off. It has been 23 days I think he has had off. This week will be training for him. So he's actually not gonna be on his normal 12 hour shift. He's going to be like seven to four. And then Friday, I think he is going to switch to the 12 hour shift. He's kind of pushing. He's really only supposed to be working four days this week. But if he puts one more day in, he can kind of start w actual work next week when he begins. <laughs> Hi. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of using this time to just uh, kind of step away because he's gonna be working and we're gonna be getting in a good routine. Addy keeps talking. We're gonna be getting into a good routine this week. Just going to step away a little bit. I've been meaning to. I haven't really gotten away as much as I wanted to while Lance was off of work. It just seemed like there was always something going on and I wasn't able to step away. So I am just taking this time. I'm gonna go on a nice drive. The fall colors are so beautiful. I'm not sure if you could tell in that grass shot this morning, but we had a frost last night, which is Oh, it means winter is coming and it sounded so cool this morning. I wish I could have gotten it on the vlog, but as the sun was hitting the trees, it was like thawing the leaves out and they were falling and it almost sounded like it was raining, maybe snowing, I don't know. But you could hear all the leaves just like falling. This is just such a beautiful fall. I have a spot that I love to drive out to when I want to just kind of like get away. It is up the Parks Highway here in Alaska and it has a beautiful pull off. I'm really just looking for an excuse to go on a little bit of a drive and have some mom time. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing. When I get back, we're going to be winterizing the boat. We de-winterized it and never used it this year. So now we have to winterize that. I'm not sure what goes into that. He's something about fogging. I don't know, <laughs> but He's got to do that, and then we're gonna get all this stuff put away for winter <sighs> because it is coming very quickly. As you saw, it was very cold this morning. <laughs> so anyways, that's our plans today. I'm gonna go take a drive, and then we're going to winterize. We do like a sugar-free white chocolate Americano with like a splash of pumpkin spice. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah? Yeah, totally. Okay. What size? Uh, we'll do 16 ounce. Okay, anything else? Sausage, egg, and cheese bagel. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Okay, so obviously I decided to stop for some coffee. It's really only like probably a 15, 20 minute drive. It's not very far out there, but I haven't eaten breakfast, so I grabbed a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel. Let me show you. I was gonna go to Starbucks and try their pumpkin cream, whatever, cold brew. I don't know what it is. I've never tried it, but I just really enjoy supporting local businesses, and this is a complete local business. I don't know why my face looks so red. It's not really red, it's just the lighting, but sausage, egg, and cheese bagel. I got a sugar-free white chocolate Americano, cause you know, try to cut the calories, cause terrible decisions, okay? I'm just, you know, less calories the better. I don't know. And then I got the splash of pumpkin spice to give it like the folly. So here's, I've, I've never had this before, so I can't say it's good yet. Oh, that's so good. Oh, it tastes like fall in your mouth. I get an Americano because what an Americano is, is espresso and water instead of uh, milk. So I do normally get a splash of cream, but that doesn't even need it. It's so good. Okay, stop trying to sell you guys coffee that you can't even get where you're at because this coffee has only Alaska. I don't necessarily care for the pumpkin spice lattes because they're like too spicy, but that's really good. That's super good. Okay. All right, let's head up the Parks Highway and get some fall drive in.
All right, I've made it up here. This was like one of those drives that I literally got emotional because it was so beautiful. Like that sounds silly, but like I was driving, I'm like, wow. It's like God took a paintbrush and was like, yeah, these leaves are green, let's change them to yellow. Like, and it was just so many shades and it's just beautiful. Like a drive that I have driven looks so different today and it only sticks around for really about a couple days here and they all fall and then it moves on to like brown and then white. <laughs> so I could not have picked a better day. There's so many people up here, so beautiful and it is clear skies, which it has not been in a long time. So talk about God's perfect painting. <laughs> I'm like out of words. I just don't even know, it's so beautiful. camera does no justice to what is actually out there. There is mountains all along the horizon. There is water, there is green leaves, there's yellow leaves, there's red leaves, it's just insanely beautiful. Of like the really awesome things about being here at this pull-off is that there's no cell phone service so I am just sitting here my phone's not going off I don't have to be mom there's no stresses on me right now I'm just chilling there's a lot of people in and out today on this little viewpoint because it's so beautiful like it is breathtakingly beautiful I do want to encourage you guys to find a place like this find a place where you don't have to be mom you don't have laundry to do you don't have you don't have work stresses, find a place where you can get away and reset because that's exactly what I'm doing today and it feels so good. While I'm sitting here, I'm actually a little bit amazed of what I've seen. <laughs> there was like another drone up here and I don't know if it was a vlogger. I didn't go ask because I don't feel cool enough to be like, hey, are you a vlogger too? Because I just don't feel like I'm a YouTuber yet. I know I am, but <laughs> then there was like a filming crew up here and they had like a Durango or something and they had harnesses on and they had like the back open so they were like filming from reverse I don't know. I don't know who it was. I didn't want to go ask them <laughs> All right, I have enjoyed this. I probably have an hour of like footage from the drone and the camera and like all that because it is just so beautiful up here and I'm just blown away. What do you guys think if I just put like a, a Alaskan fall collage together. I don't think it's gonna be something that like everybody watches, but I just have so much footage of like all of this and I'm like, I would love to put a video together to encourage people to come visit Alaska, come see Alaska. I know it's hard right now with all the COVID testing, but it is so beautiful. Like it truly is. This spot is just gorgeous all the time. It's just such a beautiful state and I can't even like explain how beautiful it is without seeing it. It's like if you've ever seen like the Grand Canyon or Mount Rushmore or like any of those places, pictures do no justice. It's the same for Alaska. Once you get outside of like the towns and stuff, being a lifelong Alaskan, it still blows me away every time I see the true beauty that we have here. So you would think I was like getting paid from the state of Alaska to promote it. But <laughs> no. I just I just think it's so beautiful and it really is like soul resetting. Like you just you get into a place where there's no noise and well, obviously there's noise from like the drive, but like noise like no internet out here and no distractions and you just, you're able to just soak in the beauty of the state. I'm gonna head home and we are going to get some winterization done. I've dilly dallied long enough, I've gotta get home. now 
now we are gonna take a walk, let the kids burn some energy, and then we are going to start cleaning up around the house. Lance is going to winterize the boat. We really don't have to do a ton for winter, but just kind of like put everything away, get the grass cut, get the boat winterized, things like that. Oh, <gasps> winter is coming, guys. <laughs> What are we doing? We are spraying this into the engine. What does that do? It coats the inside of the engine to protect it from moisture so it doesn't rust. And it's been working pretty good for 15 years. She's oldie buddy goody. was drilling holes in the bottom of our trash cans is because they stay outside during the winter time some places in Alaska you cannot keep your garbage outside because there is bears but here we don't have a ton of bears anyways we keep our garbage cans outside in the springtime when all the snow melts it fills the cans with water which is gross so we're trying to prevent all the snow buildup in the trash cans from creating a puddle in the springtime I have been a terrible vlogger today. We have gotten all the stuff cleaned out of like the wood. The kids all helped me do all that. We are going to be cutting down a tree, but we don't have a chainsaw. So I'm gonna go grab one from my mom's and we're gonna go be cutting some trees down. We have a tree in the backyard that is slightly curved right now, but like when it gets snow on it, it is like way over and it's right over where we parked the boat. We gotta get that taken care of. I got my little buddy back here. He's yeah. Say hi, vlog. Hi. Okay, again, failed on vlogging, but my mom basically made me leave Addison there. <laughs> she was like, you guys can get so much more done. So I dropped Addison off with her. We are gonna get this tree cut down that we probably should have done long ago. <laughs> a more perfect fall. <laughs> Good job, babe. If you guys saw my video we, in the springtime, <laughs> they're so excited. Dad, we actually tapped that birch oh, yeah. tree and got sap out of it. Not a lot. I think it was already starting to die just because it was leaning so much. And anyways, it's down. One less worry for this winter. <laughs> house is a disaster. Lance is going to get propane for the grill so we can make some steaks. I'm gonna do a quick cleanup in my kitchen and see how much I can get done before the steaks are done. <laughs> no judging how terrible my kitchen is. It's bad. <laughs> She gets. <laughs> I still have some dishes to do, but I gotta finish up dinner because Lance is about to put the steaks on the grill. So I'm gonna work on that. Not bad for like, I don't know, 20 minutes of cleaning. My mom always says, set a timer for 30 minutes and see what you can get done. I'm like, I don't have 30 minutes of uninterrupted time. <laughs> but today I did because my mom has Addison and the kids have just been playing around. 
they did their chores super fast, like way before I got my, like my area is the kitchen. Landon's the dining room. Natalie and Brayden kind of do the living room. So everybody kind of has their spot. Um, it doesn't always get perfectly clean, but I'm not that type of mom that like wants it perfect. If they're helping, I'm happy. <laughs> fantastic. I have to go get Addison and we didn't get as much done as we thought. I would like to still get the lawn mowed one more time so it's nice and short. It's nice to just not have scraggly grass in the springtime. Tomorrow is Lance's first day over at his new job. The first week is going to be training. I had one of you. I think it just showed a J on the account that it was used from but it was just a really sweet comment about how much they were able to do on their days off when they worked crazy schedules like that. And that was really encouraging to me because right now we're just dealing with like a shift of jobs, which we've actually never had to deal with in our marriage or relationship at all. He has always had the same job for the last 21 years. So this is just something new. It was very encouraging to hear from somebody that has dealt with that schedule. And even though right now I'm like, oh my gosh, when he's working, I have to do so much. <laughs> Really? No, there's a black dog that wasn't scared of us. Anyways, it was just, it was very encouraging because right now, all I can think about is like, oh man, he's gonna be at work all day and I got, I have to do everything. I have to do the grocery shopping. I have to, I'm not gonna get any time away, but really what I should be focusing on is those consecutive days off. He gets four to five consecutive days off and what we can do in that and plan and like, just do together as a family is going to be huge. So that was really sweet to hear from you. I appreciate the comment because it was very uplifting and encouraging. What am I doing? Have I never made a sandwich before? <laughs> seeing this is going to be Lance's first day of work. If you could put some encouraging words in the comments, he would be so grateful or I would be grateful <laughs> because um, as anything, he is a little bit nervous, nothing crazy, but like I said, he's been at the same job for 20 years. So it's a little bit nerve wracking starting something new, but he is very, very excited. I'm kind of excited to pack him lunches. I have made him lunches before, but it was always so easy to go get something else or like he would forget about it or he'd be too busy. Now that is going to be his only option. So I'm kind of excited to pack his lunches. Now I figured that will probably wear off, but <laughs> For now, I'm going to enjoy it. All right, I am going to end this one. I hope you guys enjoyed our little fall day and getting some stuff winterized. We did not get everything done that we wanted to, but there's really nothing left that has to be done right now. It's okay if it froze. We just don't want stuff buried in the snow. Thank you guys for coming along today. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!